Hello, good day and uh, welcome to Joso. My name is Edwin and on this video I'll be showing you how to use the P6H RTK tablet to do cadastral service. So, as you can see, we already mounted the tablet on top of the pole, which will enable us to point out the divide, the, uh, the points that we want to pick the coordinate of. So, so we would create the job, we we'll set our coordinate system, we we'll connect to our base, which is uh, our core station, then we we'll do our cadastral service using the RTK tablet. So, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on LinkedIn at Jusu Technologies. Do well to like, share, comment your suggestions about this video and also what you would like to see on our next video and your suggestions about videos we should make for you. So thank you very much and let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so uh, we want to use our RTK tablet for cadastral survey. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a project. So we'll go to project page, click on create, uh, enter the name for our project. We are using P6 tests as our project name. From here, we'll just quickly set our coordinate system, which is the Lagos Victor coordinate system that we are using. we we'll check everything is okay. So we'll click on okay and click on okay to create the job. So we've created the job, we've set our coordinate system. The next thing we are going to do is to connect to our receiver. As you can see, it's already connected. Our receiver is already Device connected, is so we'll just connect again. Device connected, rover. Then we'll go to our rover settings to connect to our base station which is our course so this is our course settings our login parameter so we we'll just apply these settings and wait for a few minutes or for, for it to fix Thanks. okay so it's fixed already so the next thing we do is we go to our topo survey to pick our points okay so for the first point you are going to pick we already have our controls here on on ground so enter the name of the point you are going to so the first point is uh, OTS OTS A now for you to have accurate height for your XYZ to be as to be correct that means your elevation to be correct we need to add the height of the pole now for the height we are using now is the height of our pole is at 1.4 meters then 1.4 meters ended here so we measured the height from here to where the receiver is and we have that as uh, 0 0.225 which is uh, 22.5 cm so we add that to 0 0.4 that we already have as our height of pole to get the correct height of instrument so that we can get accurate elevation so for our height of instrument we are going to be using 1.4 plus 22 c 22.5 cm will have 1.625 so that is going to be our height of pole which is the height of the instrument so we will now go to the first point here we want to measure This is our first point here, OTSA. Okay, before we measure the point, we'll make sure our bubble is at the center so so that we'll get the point as accurate as possible. So it's at the center now, we'll click on survey to measure the point. Okay, for the second point, which is OTSD. So I'll change our point ID to OTSD. We'll make sure the instrument is labeled is at the center and then we'll click on survey. Okay. 
Okay, so we've gotten the coordinate for two points that we measured on size roll. We'll go to our element to check out the points. Okay, so uh, we've finished, we've gotten two points and we want to compare the coordinates that we have. So on our paper here, we have OTSA as 56561.066. Here we have 56561.046. That should be 20 mm, which is uh, 2 cm. 2 cm is not bad. Then for the nothings, we have 5714791.680. What we have here is 714791.689. 680689 is 9 mm. The difference there is 9 mm, so that's okay. For our height, we have 5.922. Here we have 5.900, still about 2 cm, 22 mm, so 2 cm. That is still very acceptable for cadastral service. So for the second point, which is OTSD, we have 56567.4.716 here on our paper. And on the instrument, we have 56567.4.725. That's like 11 mm difference. So that is very okay. Then for the nothings, we have 714788.106. And here on our equipment, we have 714788.110. So 4 mm difference. Then for the height, we have 5.932. Here we have 5.930. So just 2 mm difference. So that is how to use a V6 Arrow TK tablet to do cadastral service. You are using the Survey Master application. So thank you very much and do have a wonderful day.